Hello everyone. Today we are here at North Country Neighbors in Potsdam, New York. And these are signed on the bottom. Glass, nice candle votives. I ended up getting those for $10 for both of them. We're going to find out if that's an okay price or not. <laughs> this, I'm feeling it because uh, I learned recently that cut glass, if you press your thumb to it and it feels like your thumb is going to get cut, then it's sharp. That, that paperweight was pretty heavy and then I was also attracted to that vase, but I don't know much about glass yet. This beautiful candlestick holder, I wanted for myself, but maybe I'll go back for it. I didn't end up getting it. Then I like this little angel here. I liked that her wings were actual, like, feather looking. That was really interesting. Then I saw these. I know that on eBay, things like this tend to have a high resale value, but even though they are beautiful, they are priced just about at the market value. So it was, it was a very nice set, but I had to pass on these. And I liked this little glass dog. Again, I don't know much about glass, so I'm not sure what to do about that that little cute doggy, a coach bag. I've been thinking about selling purses, but I'm going to have to really make sure it's a good one. You can see I just like to look at everything. I try and see what the name says. Uh, this on the bottom, it said Rita 74. And I tried looking up this. It's really, really big, but not too heavy, but I just couldn't find anything. Then, whenever I see a set all together, this always excites me. Meekin, England, I believe it says. But it is a lot of stuff. I think all of that was for $20. And I was attracted to this candle holder, but I believe it was more modern. I usually try and go for antique things or vintage things, but of course I have to check it out. And I love anything hearts, so I had to take a peek at these. I always check to see the price. And see if anything has a mark or it is signed. Those did not have any sign signage. <laughs> and this is just so pretty. I love the design. I was definitely attracted to it. I moved that teapot out of the way. Which those little cups sitting next to the teapot are a matching set. Very cute for $3.50. I don't know the resale value on that. I did end up getting these plates. The small one was $1.50 made in Czechoslovakia and the bigger one I believe is 250 I've been learning Nippon and the different signs that was three dollars Noritake if that's how you pronounce it yeah this one three dollars as well there's just so much stuff in this booth <laughs> I wasn't sure what was valuable and then I was comparing the birds <laughs> oh this has a bird on it too 
but it is just a lone saucer and those don't have much of a resale value as I'm finding out. There were just so many plates in this booth that was just a small pile of them. <laughs> Put that teapot back. This cute little rabbit seemed more modern and not ceramic. <laughs> then I saw this cowbell looking thing. <laughs> of course you have to ring it a few times. <laughs> and then I got really excited because I found a handmade pottery plate from Portugal. It was 150. Signed on the bottom there. Paraca Redondo, Portugal. So I did end up getting that. And then this was really shiny and iridescent. I don't know who makes it, so I was unsure. And pulling out this one, just checking it, 150 There's pretty good prices in this booth. I just love seeing these little cutouts on the plates and bowls. I think they're fantastic and really beautiful. But I put it back because I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, and this one hand-painted in Japan. I thought maybe this has some good resale value. It didn't actually do that well, so I decided to leave it. And there are just so many beautiful pictures. Now there is a picture right there in the front with a pink flower and I did end up getting this. I think it was $2.50. And I just, when I looked it up on eBay and did a little research, I found out that it was from the 1930s and 1950s, around that time. And it was called Della Ware. And I really liked that, that blender there. I thought that was pretty. Too big to take on though. <laughs> I was wondering what this was. I don't know. Also this, it did have like a sort of dish thing in the front there that I'm touching, but I'm just not sure. It looked like it was missing something. I like that lime green. S juicer? Juicer, I believe. And that was so pretty. I love when there's that negative space there at the bottom. But I do not know the maker, so I put it back. 
this little bell here looks like the Liberty Bell. It is $2.95. This looked nice. I like the glaze. It looks like it has some age to it. $9.95. So. Oh, and these lovely ladies, I believe they are Avon perfume bottles. So actually, I see a lot, a lot of Avon stuff in thrift stores, as I'm finding out. And I loved this. Then I saw this guy, Regina, hand-painted in Holland. So, that looked pretty cool. Then there was this long wooden thing hanging from the ceiling. I was trying to get around it, then realized, oh, need to move that. What I really wanted to look at was that big black picture in the back. It had a little gold marking, but I couldn't really make it out. I, I'm not sure. There were some dots and a few lines. I don't know what that means. I tried to find it online to see what it might sell for, but I couldn't find anything. I believe there was a chip, though. Yes, there is that chip. So I decided better not. And then I found this, which I later discovered is a cigarette holder, which would have come with a few ashtrays, actually. But it was very beautiful and definitely attracted my attention. It says Japan there on the bottom. Accra, China. Made in Japan. That was $15, though a little bit pricey for trying to resell it. This one I thought was so beautiful. I did end up getting that. I believe I was charged about six dollars for that. This too made in Italy. It was so beautiful. I was looking at it, did not realize that one of the petals was chipped, but I thought, oh, it's not chipped at all, so I did buy it, and it does say June there. This I could not really make out, maybe Gondon, or Gonder, there it says it on the sticker. I looked it up, and there is not much room to sell it on eBay as it said on the sticker. <laughs> they were aware. I looked at the bottom. I had high hopes. It looks like it has some age to it. And actually on the inside, I'm not sure how to get it off, but there is some what seems like styrofoam kind of glued to the bottom. I need to figure out how to properly clean that. And these bowls I did end up getting, Lennox bowls. I wouldn't have bought them today, basically, knowing what I know now. But that's great. That means I am learning. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.